Today on Lucky Dog. Go on, go play. Brandon rescues a precocious puppy with energy to burn. But an unforeseen hurdle steers her training off the beaten path. Taking a puppy camping could be a tall order. Will this little girl have what it takes to earn her Scouts badge? Leo, come here. Or is Brandon biting off more than he can chew? Uh, 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 nope. So pack a bag, because Lucky Dog is heading to camp. I'm Brandon McMillan, and I've dedicated my life to saving the lonely, unwanted dogs that are living without hope. My mission is to make sure these amazing animals find a purpose, a family, and a place to call home. Today, one dog will be saved and one family will have a new best friend. This is Lucky Dog. There we go, you ready? Give me a roll over. Give me a roll over. Nice, good, good. It's barely nine o'clock and Brandon's already on a roll. He's teaching Peanut a few parlor tricks, which keeps young dogs like him mentally stimulated as well as physically fit. Oh, roll over. Good, nice. But the morning is about to take another kind of turn. Hello? I'll be right there. All right, Peanut. That's enough for the day, come on. I'm headed down to the shelter to go rescue a five-month-old schnauzer mix. They say she's really sweet with other dogs, really great with people, but she's not showing well. And this is a common story with a lot of dogs in shelters all across the country. They look desirable on paper, but for some reason, they sit in the shelter for a long time. But Cleo is determined to turn on the charm for Brandon. Hi, hi. Yeah, you're all smiles and wags, aren't you? Huh? Cleo's previous owner gave her up to the shelter so she's had a rocky and uncertain start to life. But today, her luck is about to change. What do you want to do? You want to stay in here or come with me? What's that? You want to come with me? Yeah, I thought so. Before Brandon can take Cleo back to the ranch, she'll need to be spayed. This gives Brandon some extra time to reach out to a family that happens to be in the market for a precocious puppy. My name's Brandy Knight, and I'm a single mom. I have two great little boys. There's Bobby, who's seven, and Jimmy, who's five. They have a lot of energy. Having just moved into a new home with a sprawling backyard, the Knights finally have a chance to add a furry friend to their household. And no one is more excited than Bobby. I want to be a dog trainer like Brandon when I grow up. Bobby's a huge fan of Brandon's. He knows the seven common commands by heart. Sit, stay, down, off, heel, come, and no. By week's end, Bobby will be able to put his skills to the test. He loves animals. He's so super excited. He kept counting down the days till we can get a dog. Also counting down the days is Brandon. Cleo's spaying surgery is complete, but she'll require a few extra days of rest and relaxation before her training begins. Enjoy your time off. We got a lot of work to do. But Cleo's training may kick in sooner than Brandon anticipates. The second I step outside, suddenly I hear her barking and screaming. So I rush back inside, open the door, and she stops instantly. And I'm like, uh-oh, this isn't good. She was wagging her tail and she wanted to jump on me. And what that told me right there, that this is separation anxiety. This is very common with shelter dogs because a lot of shelter dogs have been bounced around from home to home, from shelter to shelter. So they specifically have this fear that they're being abandoned time and again. It puts them under a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety. For the sake of Cleo's health, Brandon feels it's important to address the habit immediately. To do this, he steps outside and watches Cleo via doggy cam, a network of cameras anchored around the ranch. As I'm viewing the monitor, what I'm waiting for is that panic mode to stop just for a couple seconds. As it does, I rush back in the house and I say, good girl, I pet her, I praise her, I reward her for the silence. Don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. When she calms down, that's what she gets praised for but I've only got it for a couple seconds. My goal is to inch it a few seconds each time. 
Over the next few days, Cleo goes from seconds to hours without a bark. It's a repetitive process, but with enough time and consistency, you can get them over this. We're off to a great start, but there's still a lot of work to be done. By the time she completes her etiquette lessons, Cleo is ready to don a new style of collar. Day one of training has begun, my friend. Come on. Cleo's cone came off, and the doctor said she's clear for training. All right, let her in, let her in. Go on, have a sniff. Go on, go play. You're cone free. Feels good, right? First thing I'm going to do is assess her knowledge of the seven common commands, which I'm very pleased to find out that Bobby already knows. All right, what do you know? Do you know a sit? Give me a sit. Right so first I put her on a sit. Give me a sit. Which she did not know what I was talking about. Nope. And then I tried a down. Do you know a down? Do you know a down? No? Again, negative. Stay, no. Off, come, heel, you name it. It's safe to say this dog has absolutely zero training. Go on, let's try that again. Cleo needs to work on just about everything. I'm starting pretty much from ground zero with this dog. Coming up. We go hiking and camping. Cleo, come here. Cleo's training takes an off-road oh, detour. You got to keep up. Not every dog is meant to be around a campsite. Uh, uh, uh. Having been given a green light from the vet, Cleo, the five-month-old schnauzer, sheds her tunnel vision and starts training. You know a down? But after her assessment, it's painfully clear that she has little grasp of any of the common commands. Cleo needs to work on just about everything. I'm starting pretty much from ground zero with this dog. And the ground is just where Cleo's training begins, with an exercise in patience. Good, good, there we go, good. Cleo's lack of training is obviously a testament to her age. She's a five-month-old puppy. The one thing you can always guarantee with puppies is they have a lot of energy. To help Cleo focus with all of that energy, Brandon uses what's called a double leash lock-off. And what this does, it teaches the dog control. It teaches them stability. It teaches them to stay in one spot. Good, that's a sit, good. But the good news is she's a quick learner, so I see good things in the future for her. Perfect, good, that's a sit, good. Before I place a dog with a new family, the first thing I do is a home visit. So today I'm gonna to go see Brandy and her two sons, Bobby and Jimmy. I hear you're pretty good with dogs, Bobby. Yeah. Did I hear right? Mm-hmm. Do you um, teach them the seven common commands? Yeah. What are they? Let me hear them. Sit, stay, down, off, heel, come, and no. Perfect. Nine times out of 10, it's usually the parents that take on all the responsibility of the dog. But in the case of Bobby, he wants that role. You don't see that every day. I'll tell you what, go play in the yard for a few minutes. I'm gonna talk to your mom for a few. So what kind of activities do you all do as a family? A lot of outdoors stuff. We go hiking and camping as a family. You wanna take your dog hiking and camping? Yeah, absolutely, because I look at the dog as an extension of our family, and so it's really important to be able to bring her with us, whatever we do. It sounds easy on paper, but taking a dog camping is a big responsibility, and it also takes a lot of training. You do realize that she's a puppy, so taking a puppy camping could be a tall order. Say a lot of dogs are not meant to be off-leash dogs in a mm -hmm. camping area. It's all yet to be seen. Brandon's got his work cut out for him. What was supposed to be a very simple and easy training process has now turned into a very advanced training process. It's time to change my entire game plan. Coming up. Come, come. Good, there you go. Brandon tests how Cleo handles campsite distractions. Every dog loves rib bones. Every dog. Stay. Cleo the Schnauzer is into her third day of training at Lucky Dog Ranch. She's shown marked improvement with her separation anxiety and her common commands. That's a heel, good, 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 that's a heel. But yesterday's home visit with Brandy and her sons is making Brandon rethink his entire strategy. They say they love to go camping. Campsites pose a lot of challenges to a dog. The dog has to have basic obedience, that's a must. 
Clio will also require impeccable stay and come, come commands. Not to mention a strong stomach. A campsite is full of food, which is very attractive to a dog. When you put a dog in a situation like a campsite, you're literally laying out a buffet. If I were to take Cleo to a campsite right now, it's almost a guarantee she would pretty much eat everything in sight. I have to slowly acclimate her to be around a lot of food, a lot of people, a lot of action going on. Playland, everywhere. To begin the process, Brandon starts with simple distractions. First thing I do is I litter my whole entire training yard with toys. She likes toys, she loves playing with them. So I call her on a come command, and she comes right through the minefield of toys around her. Come. Good, 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 good. Come here. Come here, come. Come, come, come. Good, 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 good. All the distractions. Don't worry about them. The world is full of distractions. Time to step it up a little bit. Next thing I do is I bring a bowl of food out. Just dog kibble. I want to keep it very simple, very basic. Come. Come on, all the way through. Don't worry about that. Come, come on, all the way through. Good, good, come, perfect. Come, come. Good, there you go. Good, 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 come, good. She did very well with the kibble, so now it's time for a real test. I filled the bowl with rib bones. Now, every dog loves rib bones, every dog. It's tempting, but Cleo keeps her taste buds in check. Good, good, there you go. That's a come, good girl, don't worry about that stuff. You don't worry about that human food. Cleo did a great job. She proved to me that she could learn this. But this was a very controlled test. And now it's time to step it up. Come on. A fenced-in, off-leash park offers a more realistic training environment. Brandon hooks Cleo to a lunge line, then lets her get distracted. As I see her mind wandering off in one direction, I call her to me and quickly pull the lunge line. Oh but the lunge line's in my hand. That's to guide and correct. Now what I do is I drop the lunge line. Go wander. Now I let her wander, and now she has to do it all by herself. And again, she turns right around and runs right towards me. Go on. I repeat this process over and over. Cleo, come here, come on. Cleo, come here. Cleo, come here. Come on, good, 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 come on. So she's proving to me time and again that she understands it. Good, good, good. She's convinced me that she is an off-leash dog. But advanced recall is only one part of the training process. Now it's time to see how she handles the big test, the puppy buffet. Coming up, Cleo discovers that life isn't always a picnic. No, no, no. And later, Cleo goes for her scout's badge. The girl. Cleo the Schnauzer Puppy is getting a crash course in camping. She's mastered the advanced cum command, but does she have a taste for trouble? I spread an entire buffet across a picnic table. What's up here? Look at When she found out the food was up there, she was trying to figure out every which way to get up there. I gave her a no command, and she respected it. She stopped, but just for a few seconds until she tries to find another way up there. Uh, 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 nope, nope. Human food, for humans only. Cleo quickly loses her appetite. Cleo actually did very well today. I'll give her an A plus, but tomorrow is the real test. Tomorrow, I'll be setting up a makeshift campsite. It'll be a basic replica of all the obstacles a real campsite has to offer. Today is Cleo's ultimate challenge. I'm looking for two vital things here. Number one is she has to have a firm grasp on the advanced come command. And number two, she has to understand the no command and not go for the food. While I set up the campsite, I let her wander. I kept an eye on her, but I was mainly seeing if she understood and respected perimeters and boundaries. She knew to stay within about 30 to 40 feet of the campsite. I called her to me, and instantly she ran right over. That right there was test one. She passed. But can this chow hound resist what Brandon's cooked up next? See that? See that? Yeah, yeah, I know. Good stuff, huh? Pastrami, cheese, turkey, it works. And you stay right there. It's all you. What do we do? Cleo shows restraint. 
she's doing very well with me right in front of her. The real test is, can I walk away and be 100% sure that she will not eat that food? Brandon puts Cleo on a stay and backs away. First, I decide I'm gonna hold her for one minute. One minute turns into two, that goes to three. And eventually we hit the five minute mark. She didn't even look at that food. Cleo, come here. Come on, come on. There you go, good, good, good. Nice. Guess what that means? It means we are doing a wardrobe change. She earned her stripes. She got her green collar. Try it on. How does that feel? Look at that. Much better, right? Come on, you got a family waiting for you. Here. Coming up, a new dog trainer yeah. takes the reins. You're a dog trainer. <laughs> Show me what you know. Cleo, the five-month-old schnauzer, has been busy. Over the last week, this little scout has been earning her proficiency badges. One for courage, the other for mastering the great outdoors. But today, she'll earn the most important prize of all. Hi, Hello. A home. Where's the boys at? Oh, they're right there. You got it. Yeah. It's here. The second I walked inside the house, the boys, they both just dropped to the floor and started loving on her. Leo is the coolest dog ever. Jimmy, watch this. Here, I want you to give this to her. Let the, <laughs> let the bonding process begin. You know what bonding means, right? It's where we form a relationship with a dog. That's how we form a friendship. <laughs> and for Bobby, the bond is immediate. You like her, Bobby? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You want to take her out back and train her? Mm -hmm. Come on. You ready? Watch this. There. You're a dog trainer. <laughs> Show me what you know. Being a single parent, I've worked really hard, and it's been really, really difficult and you don't get that many moments like that where you really see a dream come true for your kids. To have this person that they really look up to come and help them out and see that become a reality is really great. You see this? Mm-hmm. It's full of treats, right? Yeah. I'm gonna show you one more command. This is the most useful command of them all. Go ahead and put it right in front of her and just tell the word no. No. There you go. You know what that's useful for? when you go camping. Uh, Think about it, there's food everywhere when you go camping. He was actually better than a lot of adults I've worked with, so the kid's got potential. You wanna really test her? Mm-hmm. Go get a big plate of food. Okay. What do we got here? Burgers, cheese, tomato, french fries. Mm -hmm. A dog would like that, right? Watch this, no. I was shocked when Brandon put the food out and Cleo didn't go for it at all. Say no. No. There. Done. You know what that means? From now on, when you go to camping, you're in charge of her. Bobby had impressed me so much that I decided to give him a gift. Here. This is yours. Every dog trainer needs a bait bag. This is my personal one that I use all the time. Oh. All right, it's all yours. I got a pocket thingy that has treats inside. This is awesome. Goodbyes are never easy. But today's union represents something more profound for Brandon. He's not just passing a dog over to a new family. He's also passing the torch. Thank you. You're welcome. It actually took me back to when I was a kid. One of my mentors gave me their bait bag. And to this day, I still have it. From hopeless to a home, that's my mission one dog at a time.